In this video, traders, we're going to look at how many trades do traders take in a day. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm well, welcome to you. All right, so question came in that says, how many trades do traders take in a day? And obviously this is open-ended. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it up into different types of traders and let's have a look at exactly how different traders would perceive perhaps different market conditions. We can come up with some decent ranges. So I think this is coming from a place of someone who says, well, I'm a day trader. Should I be taking X number of trades or X number of trades? So let's assume we've got a scenario here. Right, we've got a day's worth of trade. We've got a, let's say we've got a nice opening drive. Uh, let's see a bit of a choppy here, retest the highs, comes down, consolidates, maybe does a bit of a low drive, comes back up and then closes into fresh highs. That's a pretty normal chart, especially for this day at the moment. Uh, these current conditions, pretty standard stuff. Nice trading opportunities for a day trader. Okay, so we have got super active scalpers and we've got day traders. So let's look at the two different scenarios. If you are a, let's say, a less frequent day trader, you are probably going to say, okay, well, I'm looking for one to three good trades. Okay, I'm looking to capture one big trend, one big move, maybe three maximum. That's how some day traders will approach the day. So they say, right, I've got a thesis for the day and my thesis is, let's say, it's to test this kind of hypothetical level they've drawn on from before um, and they want to align themselves long. They've done all this research and they've said, okay, well, that's what I'm gonna do. So a typical day trader might kind of, I don't know, let's say they buy this level here because they buy that pullback there. Maybe they didn't get in the opening drive early, or maybe they did. Comes up here, maybe they've scaled some out, hasn't quite got to their level, and so that's a kind of a small win for them. Then it pushes back down, and it's all very, very, it goes against, it goes against their, their thesis, they're sitting waiting, and then maybe they're buying this kind of break through the high here as it bottoms out, thinking we're gonna retest that high, and that's the trade that really gets them the meat. That's the second trade that really gets them the meat. Just hypothetically talking here, speaking. Um, and so the, the kind of less active trader who's looking for one big move might require up to three trades to capture that one big move. So there's a thesis in the day. It's okay, I think we're gonna go from here to here. We're gonna take out highs. We're going to test highs and fail, for example, whatever that thesis may be. And they're trying to then wrap one good trade around that. And I'll take up to three opportunities to get that, like that example there. So that's kind of the, the lower end of the scale. Then if we move up to uh, the higher end of the scale, and then we can look at stuff in between. Let's say you're a very aggressive scalper. A very aggressive scalper might well be taking lots of trades on this run up. Now, will there be winners or not? That That's almost irrelevant in this, in this case. They're looking to capture this. They might be trading five or six times on, on this move, if you like. Then maybe they've seen this kind of triple bottom or inverse head and shoulders appear. So they might be trading again three or four times on that. Maybe they've got a little few stop outs. Maybe they're buying a bit early, but their thesis is to push up to highs or maybe to push to lows and they get stopped. So there's clusters of, of trades. Maybe then they have a little bit of a rest. Then perhaps they are very aggressive on this selling and they're selling in to this or perhaps they're fading it and getting stopped out and so maybe we've got another five or six trades and the, you can see the difference now maybe we've got another five trades here and five trades there so the point is the number might well be 25 30 trades let's put it on then it's because 25 to 30 trades but really they're not distinctly different trades like okay well i think we're going to go from here to here and some people may, may well be trading trying to trade these little chunks but that will be somewhere in the middle. The extreme person will be trying to trade levels of interest just like this guy was, but trading around that level. So they'll be trading five or six or seven times around a level to try and get on the end of something that's working well for them. And then they'll try and run that and then they'll leave it and they'll wait and they'll maybe look to try and capture other stuff. The problem is when you get scalpers who are going way more than that and they're trying to trade everything. I think by when you start to get to that level, returns just go off a cliff because you're trying to capture all sorts of stuff. You know, very good scalpers will scalp and have a good quantity of trades, but they'll still be around levels of interest. So they'll trade around, you know, that level of interest. They'll trade around, you know, this level of interest, this level of interest, this level of interest. Maybe they'll trade around this level of interest. Maybe they'll start to trade around this level of interest. So there may be 
clusters of trade, but you know, you notice how different that is. It's levels of interest with this stuff going on. So fresh highs, fresh lows, pullbacks, prior levels of resistance, etc. as opposed to trading multiple. So going back to the initial question, how many trades do traders take in a day? If we are looking for just one big move, it's going to be one to three trades a day. If someone's looking to still capture that thesis, i.e. one or two or three big moves, but they want to rotate around a position, they could be trading 25 to 30 trades a day because they might be trading five trades on one kind of thing, ch chopping in and out and, and dropping the position a bit more, a bit more. They might have up to five kind of trades on that. So that's the, the benchmark. I know it's quite broad, but it is what it is. Any more than that, depending on obviously volatility, there are times when people are trading multiple times, there's lots of volatility, loads of opportunity, then you might be having diminishing returns because you're trying to capture every little thing. And in my opinion, that's very, very challenging to do. It's best to focus on one or two ideas in the day. And then if you have got that style and strategy, trade around them or look for you know something like one to three. You might even be at that end of the scale and go five trades. You know, that might be a kind of normal thing, looking for one or two uh, good moves in the day, and it might take me five trades to capture them. So that's just some ideas on benchmark, not a definitive answer, but just my thoughts on it. Let me thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Appreciate your questions. Take care. Bye-bye.